Hi, I'm Raja Sen, and today we'll be talking about Badla, directed by Sujoy Ghosh, starring Amitabh Bachchan and Tapsi Pannu. Here's how the film scores. Plus one for the idea. Based on the Spanish film Contra Tiempo or The Invisible Guest, Badla is about a woman who's found in a locked hotel room with a dead body. She swears she didn't do it, but no one has come in or gone out. So who killed her? The whole idea is very reminiscent of Edgar Allan Poe's Murders in the Rue Morgue. But then it gradually gets more and more pulpy. The narrative becomes twisty and the story becomes a little bit reminiscent of the cheesily funny I know what you did last summer. Still, the film is interesting, slick and at a crisp 2 hours stays gripping. Minus 1 for not bringing anything new to the table. The original Contra Tiempo is on Netflix and you can watch it right now and Ghosh follows it very very faithfully. It, there isn't a, even a hint of localization. The film is set in Scotland for, and all the people are still speaking in Hindi and it's only Indians interacting with each other. There is really nothing memorable in this film and Sujay Ghosh's regular flavor which we see in his Calcutta set films like Kahani is missing. Plus one for Tapsi Pannu. Now Pannu is a fine actress and in this film she's given the character who is meant to be inscrutable, a character who is supposed to confuse us and as she, the film is about a debriefing with her and her lawyer and they're both arguing as she's trying to test the lawyer, she lies, he lies as they try to get to know each other. She's very good and she seems like the kind of actress who is bright-eyed enough to look like she's improvising on the spot. Plus three for Amitabh Bachchan. You have a lot of dialogue in a film that's a thriller but still a talkie, who are you going to call but Amitabh Bachchan? There's no one better for the job and the man with the golden voice is completing 50 years in Hindi cinema. This is his first film of 2019 and he really still has got it. Everything seems sharp, everything seems crystal clear and he looks playful as he's having fun with a meaty role. Minus one for the Amitabh Bachchan conundrum. The thing with an actor like Amitabh Bachchan is you expect him to hold all the cards. You expect him to be the final hero, the man who holds the final revelation and the man who shapes the climax. Something like this robs a film like Badla from its suspense. You kind of expect things to happen from Bachchan and that takes away from the overall back and forth cat and mouse storytelling of this film. That makes it a total of three stars for Badla. It's a good thriller but there's not much that's truly memorable. Please read the full review over at hindustantimes.com and I'll catch you next week.